Upskirting is when someone takes a picture of someone's skirt without their consent. And I launched a campaign to make it a sexual offence. Last year I was at British Summertime Festival um, and two guys were hitting on me uh, repeatedly and I said no. One of them took a picture of my skirt and he sent it to all of his friends in the crowd around me. I saw it on one of their phones and I grabbed the phone I was running with this phone through people and he was right behind me and he was just screaming at me to give his phone back and he was this massive guy. So it was, it was really scary. The police came and they came over to me and said, we've looked at the photo, it shows more than you'd want it to show, but you're not going to hear much from us, there's, there's not much we can do. And then my case got dropped immediately. It wasn't just that yeah, I'd had to go through that and the pictures were out and everyone had seen them and I didn't know where they were going to go next, but more the fact that also there was nothing I could do about it and the authorities that were meant to be there to support me now weren't. So I had sort of no rights over my own body at that point. So that was the, probably the worst part about it. Um, I looked into the laws in England and Wales and found out that upskirting isn't a sexual offence here. I went online and looked it up to see if people were talking about this, to see if people thought this was wrong. And all I got was porn websites and just upskirt photos and instructional videos and I realised quite quickly then, okay, this is less of a conversation about why it's wrong and actually more this is a massive community online of people who do this and can get away with it and they know there's not going to be repercussions. I then became pretty angry about it and I launched a campaign to make it a sexual offence uh, here in England and Wales. And now I've been working for a year on that and working really closely with the government and it's become a, a really political uh, campaign but a very, very positive one because it's obviously a no-brainer. Every, you know, MPs from every party believe in it. It's an everyday assault that's happening and it's for far too long. It's been something that people couldn't put their finger on or they couldn't prosecute specifically because it just didn't exist. What I've struggled with, I think, is the trolling. I've been called a fame whore, a, a liar, a lot of rape threats. If it concerns you that much, just wear trousers. I've really struggled with that, you know, in summer going out on the tube with a skirt on and being like, no, I'm gonna wear a skirt because it wasn't my fault that it happened to me, but it doesn't mean I don't think about it, I still think about it. Yeah, I would think that's short, but I've never thought that before that happened. I just loved dressing up and wearing skirts, but now I put that on, I'm like, that's quite short, that shouldn't matter at all. It's just a denim skirt, you know? Since I started the campaign, I've had so many messages from women and young girls. Women who were professional teachers, who were doctors. There's a girl I know who's lovely, who's 13, and her at school. So many women and girls speaking out and saying, no, actually, we're not happy with this anymore. We're not happy with our bodies being photographed and people doing what they want with it. That's not okay. And we will have all done that together. When the law gets changed, I'm, I don't know what I'm going to do. I think I'll just get drunk and cry for like a week when it happens. <laughs> it's going to protect hundreds and thousands of women across Wales and England. It's going to be a massive victory and I'm so ready for it to happen.